Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest TCS Ninja interview experience for TCS NQT 2024. This interview happened on 8th Feb, that is yesterday only. So make sure that if you have your interviews in coming days, whether it is Ninja, whether it is Digital, or whether it is Prime, then do watch this video till the end so that you can get to know that what you you should expect from the interview and you how you should answer different different questions. Okay, so let's just start this video. And before starting this video, I would like you to know that we have a dedicated playlist on our YouTube channel wherein we have covered lot of interview experiences for Ninja as well as for Digital from past years from 2022, 2023 and 2024 also lot of interview experiences are there on this playlist. I will give you the link in this, the, of the playlist in the description box. So make sure to visit it so that you can get to know what type of questions get asked in these interviews. So guys, now let's start this video. Before starting the video, please hit that like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. So guys, before moving ahead, I would like you to know that we have started taking mock interviews for different different companies. We are taking mock interviews for TCS Ninja as well as for TCS Digital also. Till now, total 196 mock interviews we have taken. We have a lot of experience in taking mock interviews of these companies. So make sure that you book your slot as soon as possible. The links you will find in the description box. So now let's begin with the questions that were asked in yesterday's interview. So the interview was yesterday that is on 8th Feb 2024. The stream of that person was IT. The duration of the uh, interview was 25 minutes. The first was the technical round and then there was, was the MR and HR round. Okay. So first question in the technical round was tell me about yourself and guys this is again a, a definitely asked question in the interview because how will interviewer know you? So he will ask you, tell me about yourself. This is a very common question. So you should prepare this answer beforehand only and you should do, you should not get stuck while answering this question because interviewer expects that you should give this answer in a one flow. So in this particular question, you can tell the interviewer about your skills, your educational background, your internships, your projects, uh, your uh, any achievements you have, your technical skills you can mention, your extracurricular activities you can mention, or if you have published any papers like we you do in fourth, uh, third or fourth year, if you have published any paper, then also you can tell them. Okay, all these things, your strengths and weaknesses, you can cover in this. Tell me about yourself. Your answer should lie anywhere between forty seconds to one minute. It will be good. Just give a brief of everything that you have covered in your resume and that you want that interviewer should know. But just do not lie anything in this particular question. Okay, I hope I have made myself clear. Next question is. Tell me about your skill set. So again, in skill set, you can tell like if you have done Java, Python, C++, Spring Boot, Machine Learning, uh, Android, any sort of these things you have done, you can tell him because like it will like if you have good technical skills, it will be a good impression on the interviewer. Okay, but do not lie anything in your uh, interview because let's suppose if you do not know Python and you say Py you know Python and he starts asking questions from Python, then it will be like you knew Python, but still you were not able to answer the question so just tell only those skills in which you are confident in and in you, which you want that interview should ask the questions okay so next question was explain about your projects in brief so guys i have told you in previous videos also that in your resume you should mention at least two technical projects because any company whether it is tcs infosys or accenture they will be focusing more on projects because in 20 to 25 minutes how they can judge how much you have the knowledge about the technologies they can only judge by the type and nature of the projects that you have done okay so maintain so if you have time now or like for future companies take this as a reference just mention at least two to three projects in your resume and and um, you should have a good understanding of those projects entirely and to end knowledge about those projects you should have you should know uh, the technology that you have used you should have the basic knowledge of those technologies you should also should know that what are the challenges you face in these those projects how you overcome those what is the different thing that you have done in that project what is the future scope of that project all these <coughs> questions can, can be related to the projects make sure to answer it correctly so whether it is a question about project or internship these questions remain same just do prepare them okay moving ahead explain the difference between truncate delete and drop so again in my previous videos if you will be looking this is again a very commonly asked question so truncate in truncate what we do we simply delete all the rows in the table at one go in delete we delete the rows one by one okay and in drop we delete all the rows at a one go but again the structure of the table is also deleted but trunk in truncate 
all the rows in the table are deleted but structure remains intact okay i hope now the difference is clear to you these are just one or two lines difference so whenever difference is asked you can give at least two points of difference okay next is next is what is the difference between i plus plus and plus plus i so first of all i plus plus is uh, i plus plus is post increment operator and plus plus i is the pre increment okay so let's just take uh, simply understand it with the help of example so if you have a value x equivalent to i plus plus then you have y is equivalent to plus plus i okay and initially the value of i is let's suppose 10 so what will be the value of x and y so see x is equal to i plus plus so x will be equivalent to 10 because in post increment first that value is used and then the increment happens so x value will be 10 and once x is uh, like once this entire line is executed then this i will be incremented to 1 so i will now become 11 and next once it reaches y so y is plus plus of i so y means plus plus of i it means pre increment first the increment will happen and then the assignment will happen so i was 11 at this case then plus plus i happened so i now becomes 12 and then it is assigned to y so y is also now become 12 so i hope now this difference between post and pre increment is clear to you okay next moving on is the difference between while and do while loop okay difference between while and do while loop again it's a very easy question that you can be asked so again first of all the <laughs> difference lies <laughs> between their syntax only so first of all while loop is written like this so while any condition and then the braces whereas do while loop is written like this first the uh, loop will run and then the condition will be checking so where to use when so while loop is similar to for loop first the condition is checked and if that condition holds true then only the body will be executed this is the while loop but in do while loop the first iteration the first iteration will run okay where, where the, before checking the condition the first iteration will run and then the condition will be checked and if this condition is true then only second iteration will be running so in do while first iteration always runs and then the condition is checked and if that condition is true then only the second iteration runs but in while loop first condition is checked then the iteration is run so if that condition is true then only the body will be executed so i hope now this difference is also clear to you moving on to the next question write the query for finding name of the employee with the highest salary so i have told you in my previous videos also that when we are preparing for these interviews for any service based companies there are set of 10 to 15 sql queries uh, sql questions that you should know because they are there are only questions these are the only questions that keep on repeating okay if you want me to share the list of 10 to 15 questions you can always write in the comment section i will make the video with their answers okay you can always write in the comment section okay i hope this thing is clear to you now before moving ahead again i will like you to remind that we have started taking the mock interviews at code bashers we are taking mock interviews for tcs ninja as well as tcs digital so if you want that you should practice before going to the actual interview you can come book a mock interview with us the links of the slot and prices are given in the description box make sure to visit it till now we have taken 196 interviews we have lot of inter we have lot of experience in taking mock interviews of different different companies so you can trust us and book our slot with us okay so moving ahead to the next questions okay so next is the difference between the ddl dml and dcl commands okay the, this, this is a simple difference again ddl stands for data definition language dml stands for data manipulation language and dcl stands for data uh, i am not sure dcl uh, but i will write you in the data control language i guess okay i might be wrong but data control language it is okay so yeah all these commands you should know and the difference between them you should know okay moving on so now this was all for the technical uh, technical round okay so all these questions were from the technical round now the next round will be hr and mr okay in that there will be a lot of hr questions so hr questions here involve where do you want to see yourself in the next five years so again you can tell in this particular question that yes you want to develop a skill and uh, you want to be at a certain position from now okay that you want to uh, like two or three promotions you should get you should lead a team of four to five members all these things you can tell to the interview okay next moving ahead next is that discuss the situation when you help someone when they are in some struggle so again situation based questions you can expect in tcs they will be putting you in a situation or they will be asking you a past experience about any of the situation so you should be prepared for that 
never say that i have not faced this situation if they give you any situation just make up the answer and give them but make sure that your answer should be end at a positive note okay there must not be any negative thing in those next question was justify the strengths mentioned in your resume so if you have mentioned anything on your resume anything whether it is technical skills resume or internships projects you should must read them thoroughly do not write anything in your resume just for the sake of filling the space because anything can be picked up from the resume if it comes in the interviewer's eyes okay so <laughs> if you have mentioned anything on your resume you should you must know and if there are questions around it you should be comfortable in answering them okay next is how do you motivate yourself at hard times again you can give a real life example that when you had a hard time what was hard time according to you and how you lifted yourself how you motivated yourself okay the last question of hr was how good are you in decision making rate yourself on the scale of 1 to 10 and explain why so again you have to give a real life example that where you made a decision and how that decision impacted others or your situation so i hope i have made myself clear i have like uh, try to cover the questions with their answers as well as pr and mr hr questions also covered in this particular interview so do hit the like button and subscribe button if you want more such videos and do write in the comment section if for a particular thing you want a video so i will be happy to make it and if you are not feeling confident about your actual interviews you can always give mock interviews to us the links will find in the description box okay